Guess what, guys? It looks as though Sam Altman and his developers at OpenAI have been busy. This is because they have recently come with what looks to be their best attempt at dominating the agentic AI space. Take a look at ChatGPT Agent. Far from the ordinary chatbots that we see today, ChatGPT Agent is a level above the rest, mainly because they are able to do tasks by making use of their own virtual computers. We're talking about tasks such as full task automation, web interaction, and API integration. With the full computer environment that it develops on its own, this may just be the next step when it comes to creating agentic AI. Chat, GPT agent. Considered to be the next generation iteration of OpenAI's AI tools, an experimental AI tool known as Operator. We're starting today with Operator. Operator is a system that can use a web browser, uh, in this case, a web browser in the cloud, to accomplish tasks that you give it. And we'll show you a demo in just a second, but it's really quite, quite cool what it can do. We may be looking at something quite interesting here, because this earlier version could do things such as browse the web, click links, and type into systems. It also reminds us of another experimental AI tool, one known as Deep Research. This deep research is another interesting one because it operated in a much more subtle way. This is because it was able to do things such as surf through dozens of websites so that it can gather data and insight before putting all that data together to come up with comprehensive documents for human consumption. Taking these earlier versions into account, we can see how OpenAI took the best part of these earlier AI tools so that they could make an even better version. Now we have an AI tool that comes with impressive new tooling, such as access to a terminal, API connectors to apps such as Gmail or GitHub. With such features, there are a whole host of things this next level AI tool can do for the user. Capabilities. Right now, ChatGPT Pro Plus users and team users would be able to learn how great this tool is. Once you get on its interface, You'll find that all you need to do to get the best out of it is to prompt as you would with any other version of ChatGPT. However, you'll find that it is still quite different from any other AI tool that you may have used in the past. Let's find three competitors to my product, analyze pricing, and make a slide deck of all three, for example. Once such a prompt is entered, you'd find that it will get to work by surfing the internet before using its tools to extract the data it needs to generate actual slides that are editable. Pretty impressive, right? It can do such tasks along with a wide variety of others using such a thorough method. As users get familiar with this AI tool, they will also find that it is interactive and collaborative. As such, you'd find that you can pause it and take over if you like. You can even get status reports from it if you notice that it is a bit stuck or if it seems to be veering off point. Surely, this level of autonomy mixed with elements of control could make this one of the best collaborative tools that you have out there today. Performance. In order to tell how this AI tool has been performing, especially when compared to others, all we have to do is look at the number supporting it. Thanks to what is known as humanity's last exam, one of the hardest multi-subject benchmarks that we have out there today you'd find that ChatGPT agent got a score of 41.6% at its first go at the test. This is somewhat impressive. This is almost double the score of previous OpenAI models such as O3 and O4 Mini when they went through the test. It gets better because when they gave it a chance to run eight parallel attempts and picked the most confident ones, ChatGPT agent was able to achieve a score of 44.4%. The AI tool looked even more impressive when it tried its hands on what is known as frontier maths. You could say that this is aptly named because this type of mathematics is considered to be the hardest math benchmark that we have today. Thanks to the tools enabled on ChatGPT agent, such as the access to the terminal that we mentioned earlier, the AI tool can run code in a way that allows it to get about 27.4% right. Now this may not sound impressive, but when you remember that O4 Mini, the previous record setter from OpenAI, only managed to get a score of 6.3%, you may get a better idea of what we are dealing with. The impressive nature of this AI tool doesn't stop there. When it was taken out of the context of academic performance, 
so that it could be put through internal evaluations for real-world business tasks such as building amortization schedules and conducting competitive research on certain subjects, you'd find that ChatGPT Agent is quite useful. You'd find that these aren't just AI-generated prompts either. Further analysis would reveal that experts from real industries actually created the benchmarks. Following this, top human experts went on to take on the tasks themselves so that OpenAI could compare. As a result, we found that ChatGPT Agent was able to match or even beat their human counterparts in about half of these tasks. In view of these benchmarks and the many others that ChatGPT Agent was put through to show its proficiency, you'd find that this AI tool is great for a wide variety of tasks. You'd find that it is especially able to outperform humans in certain benchmarks. This is massive because it tells us that we aren't talking about some basic front-end novelty item. In fact, we may actually be looking at the real deal right here. The mere fact that the substance of anything that it produces, be it spreadsheets or code, could match or even surpass anything that could be produced by any skilled professional out there today is a great testament to what this thing can do when put to the task. Web browsing. With that in mind, we can take a look at how exactly it is able to surf the internet pretty much on its own. To do this, we can take a look at how it performed on a benchmark that was published by OpenAI earlier in the year. Referred to as Browse Comp, it shows how well agents can navigate the internet as they search for specific or difficult to find data. Suffice it to say, ChatGPT surpassed everyone's expectations when it came out with a score of 68.9%. This was really impressive, especially as it surpassed deep research by a score of 17.1%. When we take a look at how ChatGPT agents scored on another benchmark known as Web Arena, a benchmark that was created to simulate real-world web task completion, ChatFGPT agent did well once again, so much so that it outscored the operator-powered version of O3. In view of this information, we can see how ChatGPT agent is good at gathering information and making good use of said information in the browser. A look under the hood. When we take a look at what makes ChatGPT agent function, we may find that it is so functional because it has access to different environments. That way, it can make use of visual browsers or text-based browsers if it wants to. To make things even better, we find that it can make use of terminals as well. This means that it can run commands, scripts, or even download files so that it could manipulate it. What makes this rather interesting is that it does this on its own virtual machine instead of your device. This is what gives it its consistent context throughout sessions. That way, it can actually open a page, extract a file, and give the output in the browser without making any mistakes. To make things even more impressive, you'd also find that ChatGPT Agent can also connect to your apps. This is because it can make use of what is referred to as connectors. These connectors secure API bridges to tools such as Gmail, Google Calendar, and the likes. That way, it can use this connection to do things such as summarize your inbox, pan out, or help you make out your schedule on your calendar, and so on. Sure, you may still need to log into your browser for security reasons, but once it's in, the agent will be able to move freely across your services and workflows. Security. Bearing how powerful ChatGPT Agent is in mind, you may find that there are real safety concerns. Right now, these security concerns are being taken seriously by the guys at OpenAI. They are even treating it as if it has a high biological and chemical capability risk under their preparedness framework. All this means is that although they cannot say that it has been used for harm, they are acting on the assumption that it could potentially be misused to accelerate dangerous things. You wouldn't want someone to use it to create a bioweapon of some sort, would you? Taking that into account, OpenAI has built in what they referred to as their most comprehensive safety stack. First, there is the real-time monitoring, 
Then there is the second layer that is used to see if what you are looking for might be able to cause harm. To make sure things are even more secure, they have disabled memory in chat GPT agent. That way it cannot be used to abuse data. With that in mind, the AI tool is being rolled out to the public gradually. Right now, pro users may be able to have full access to 400 messages per month. Other plans have other limitations, but with time, many more should be able to make use of this fantastic AI tool. Maybe then, we will fully understand how amazing ChatGPT Agent truly is.